So here's my sliding door and I've got it laid down on the table. This is the bottom of the door. That's one of the rollers there. So I just popped this section here out that way just a little bit using a hammer and some wood. <coughs> this side I haven't, so as you can see the this bit here to, to remove this uh, this roller assembly I need to separate this section from the slide rail down the bottom a bit. So I'm going to use a hammer to try and push this that way a little bit. As you can see, that's pushed this way just enough so that I should be able to pop the bottom rail out so that I can remove these old sliders. So I'm going to try and use the, uh, the hammer and the wood to knock, knock this bottom rail here that way so I can pull the, pull the slider here out. Starting to separate there. I'm just going to do this a bit gently on both sides to try and remove the whole slide rail assembly down the bottom. Yep, so it's getting to the point where I can start to do this by, by hand. I can probably give it a bit of a pull and that should. Uh, that should start to come out. And after pulling on both sides a bit, I finally got it off. And that's it. It's come away. So this is the, uh, the slide rail assembly at the bottom of the door. Now I believe all I have to do is to remove this cartridge that way. Okay, that's it. That's the assembly, the slider assembly just about out. That's how it fits together. You see the slider track there. So that just slots in there like that. Okay. Now I'll take the other one off and I'll go to Bunnings and I'll get a new slider for each side. Okay, so these are the two replacement assemblies here. I've got the left and the right hand side. This one's left hand side, that one's right. Here you can see the original part numbers. There's a the uh, 358 that's left. And that's the right. And I'm just using these uh, roll track replacement parts, 1340 and 1330. Should be exactly the same thing. So the right hand side, the way I'm looking at it right now, this is actually the right hand side, the left hand side is the other one, and this is just going to slide back in the same way that it came, the other one came out, just slide in there, there you go, so I've got that back, back in there, and I'll do the same thing for the other side now. Okay, so this is the other side. So that there. You might need to use a hammer or not. That's okay. That's that's going down. Good. Okay. And now we can just uh, reattach this. 
I'm just going to give it a bit of, bit of a clean before I put it back on. And while we put it on, we have to make sure this, have to make sure the uh, the, the rubber seal here doesn't get caught. Okay, so just make sure that rubber is up against the glass. As we reattach it, just make sure it's all nice and uh, nice and even. There we go. It's all nice and even. Now we just need to put the screws back in to hold it in place. I'll be using the same screws that I took out before because there it doesn't come with new screws. That's that's just for the um, for the bracket. And then we need to adjust adjust these so that the uh, the rollers are at the right height. And now the sliding door is back on and it slides beautifully.